Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain how to model shaft, which is the second part of a sleeve and cartridge joint using SOLIDWORKS. The slide shows the dimensions of the shaft. Let's begin now the modeling of a shaft. Go to new, select part and then click on OK. Select the right plane and click on normal tool. Go to sketch, click on line. Click here. All right. So we have uh, drawn uh, some lines. Now we'll uh, change the dimension using Smart Dimensions option. Click here, and this should be a 15 millimeter. This line uh, should be 86 millimeter. This can be about uh, 30 millimeter. And this dimension should be 12.5, so that it makes uh, 25 millimeter as the diameter. Apart from this, we will also add a, a chamfering here and a fillet here. First, let me add a fillet here. Go to fillet, go to fillet here. Click on sketch fillet. We'll give a, a dimension, let's say about a two. And now we'll uh, click on the entities to fill it. First click on uh, any one of the edge and then the next edge. It shows the preview that uh, the uh, fillet will be drawn like this. Click on OK. Right, so it is a vector. Say OK. Now we'll uh, uh, create a chamfering here. Click on sketch chamfer option. Here the distance probably 2. Now we'll uh, select the two edges, one here and one here. Right? So it has taken 2 mm as the damage value. Say OK. Now the sketch is over. Click on OK. Now we'll uh, select the sketch. Go to features and click on revolved boss or base. Click on this option requires an axis of revolution and we'll select this line as the axis of revolution so that it is rotated 360 degree to make the shaft. Click on OK. Now we'll select the right plane make it perpendicular go to sketch we'll draw the line to make a slot for cutter pin to enter draw the lines required a vertical line here then two horizontal lines one from here to here probably here and the other line here Then connect the edges. Go to small dimensions. We'll uh, change the dimensions to the required value, which should be 36.5, and the bottom distance should be 35.5. Click 
here one mm taper is uh, given because uh, the length from here to here is 30 millimeter since the taper is 1 is to 30 we assume 1 mm as the taper right now we'll uh, change the dam i mean we'll also set this dimension from here to this direction and this must be 25 millimeter so make it as 25 millimeter click on ok the sketch is ready we'll uh, see it in a three dimension view the sketch is available here select the sketch ok the sketch is selected now go to features click on extruder extruded cut give here 6 millimeter and that, uh, this option must be mid plane click on ok you can see here that's the slot made now we'll uh, apply uh, fillet option go to fillet select the items to be fill filleted so click on the edge number one okay we'll give your uh, 3 mm so that it will uh, uh, preview properly second edge third edge and the fourth edge so all four edges are selected you can see the preview now click on ok the expected uh, you know uh, shape is made so here is the shaft it's ready thank you